Hi, Sue Franks here from Sue Franks Feel to Ride. I always want to have a little chat today about mindfulness. Okay, so mindfulness, basically, the way I see it, means that we are focused on the present moment. Um, it helps us um, alleviate stress. So when you're riding your horse, because you know that who Franks Feel to Ride ride horses, you, you don't want to be stressful when you're riding your horse. And most of us ride because we actually want our riding time to be fun. We want to enjoy it. So here's a good reason to be mindful. Um, what else does it do? It gives us a more harmonious ride. And that's important. When we ride our horses, we want to be harmonious. We want to have fun. Uh, it should be a joy. So mindfulness, what can we do about it? Well, mindfulness helps you with your emotions on your horse. It helps you accept that you experience this with your horse instead of reacting to them. So you're gonna be mindful on your horse. So let's just put this into a practical state of mind. What are we gonna do? Okay, so mindfulness is basically us being focused on the job at hand and then doing the job correctly. Sorry about the light in the phone, I'm trying to fix that. So we need to be mindful and focused on the job. So being mindful keeps us in the present. So if we're gonna stay in the present, what we need to do is know what we're going to do and plan it before we start and alleviate distractions. Now, you can't stop everything from happening around you. So while you're being mindful, be aware of what's around you. Be aware of what's happening outside your arena, or outside your trail ride, but also be aware that it's not your problem. It's about you. So what I find helps is hop on your horse and sit quietly if the horse allows it. Sit quietly for a minute, or sit quietly before you get on your horse. Deep breathe, very deep breathe, and focus on what you want to achieve. Think about the outcome of the ride. Of course, while you're riding, horses have their own minds. You may change your mind while you're riding the horse. But focus on what you want, visualize it, breathe really deep, and then go and hop on the horse and ride. Be aware what's around you, as we've mentioned, but don't let it distract you from what you want to do. While you're being mindful while you ride, here's another little tip, your emotions. You are allowed to feel the emotions that you are going through. There's no good saying that you're not scared of your horse when you're actually shit scared of your horse. Sorry about the language, but it's true. So you can actually acknowledge that you're scared, breathe deep, look around the countryside, Take in the view, breathe out. Just feel that and let it go. The emotion of fear will come and go. It only stays if we hang on to it, the same as being anxious. Now there's the flip side to that. Being focused and, in, and mindful, being incredibly mindful of our ride and being in the moment, lets you enjoy feeling happy while you ride. It lets you enjoy the good times, it lets, when that horse does that awesome turnaround or that great half pass, or just jumps and he's round and he's with you. When you feel those wondrous things and you're in the moment, when you're being mindful, you can enjoy it to the full extent because you stay in that emotion, you feel it, you allow it to happen and pass. It lets you connect with your horse better. What do we all want? We all want connections with our horses. We all want this relationship that we see in top riders. We all want this feel, this thing that goes together. Well, if you are mindful, you have a better chance of achieving that connection. Because not only are you tuned into yourself and your own emotions, but you're probably tuned into your horse's emotions as well, which makes it a lot more fun. It's gonna help with your health, it's gonna help with so many things. I mean, mindful practices are in all parts of life and we usually start with a meditation. But you can take the mindful practice into your riding and you can use this to be in the moment. Another little point here, remember, your horse lives in the moment. Your horse doesn't live in the past, he doesn't live in the future, you do. Stop it. You need to live in the moment like your horse. If you can be in the moment while you ride your horse and be mindful of this moment in time, you are not going to regret the past or stress over the past. Oh my God, he pink grew and kicked up last week. What will I do? Oh my God, what if he does it today? You know, that was the past. 
your now. It doesn't mean it's going to happen today. In fact, it probably won't. Oh, I don't know. He's been so good up to now, but there's every chance that that dog that's three miles away and, and two blocks over is going to come over here and scare me. And he might buck and he might buck. What if he shies? Oh, my God. So now we're worrying about the future. Calm down. It hasn't happened yet, and it may not ever happen. Be mindful. You've seen the dog. You can let the horse look at it. You're going to be fine. You're in the moment. The dog is the future. Why would you start to worry about something that probably won't happen and ruin the fun in your ride? Remember, stay in the moment while you work and ride your horse and it takes practice. This focus, this extreme mindfulness takes practice. And your horse, he could be looking around and everything, going like what's happening, looking for things. And what are you doing? Are you focused on him and getting his focus back to you? Or are you allowing it, stressing about what's gonna happen from it? You're not being mindful. Come back to now. Focus on what you're doing at this very moment. Not two seconds in the future, not two seconds in the past, but now. Keep your horse's attention on you. Keep his mindfulness on you. Enjoy it together. Remember, to enjoy that connection with your horse, you both have to be in the now. The horse is always in the now, are you? I hope this little chat about mindfulness helps because the best rides I've had is when I was totally absorbed in that moment nothing else mattered. I didn't care what was going to happen at the show next weekend. I didn't care what happened in the past, but at the moment, this wonderful canter was happening. He was loping with a high stride. He'd rounded and lifted his back, and I was just sitting there, and there was a pitched rain, and it felt wonderful. That was in the moment, and it was beautiful and glorious. Remember, ride with a smile. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye for now.